This week, we don't just have one model, but we have two models that are currently beating Google's VO3, according to this analysis, at creating text-to-video content. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Howlio AI by Minimax to create a stunning AI video for a fraction of the cost as VO3 using their API. So this is the post that they came out to show the model, so let's see what it looks like. Keep in mind, a lot of what they're showing is a lot of motion, a lot of sports-like stuff. That's what I've been seeing in all the demos. It looks really impressive here, as you can see. So you get a lot of action shots. And this is pretty cool too, because they also show off what the exact prompt is that they use. These ones are pretty simple and not um, as descriptive as maybe we would do ordinarily. Now, keep in mind also, this was created by the people that made the model, so they're gonna cherry pick the best possible results. Let's see some other videos that people on X have been able to make. So you can see this one looks pretty realistic. I think Google VO would make a pretty similar video to this, um, but you'll see with the pricing that they're pretty competitive. Then here we have another one with uh, a robot coming out, a transformer coming out of the billboard. This one looks pretty cool. And then we also have people doing this in different styles. So we, here we have the anime kind of style. This also looks super impressive. Might even be better than what Google VO can come up with. I haven't really experimented in this realm too much. Okay, now we're on Hylio's website. This is where you can generate the videos if you don't want to do it on the automation with this interface right here. You have image to video, text to video, and then subject to video. So I'm gonna focus mostly on the text to video because that's what we've been doing a lot with VO3. Here are the two results. Keep in mind, they gave me 500 free credits. Each video is only 25 credits, and I believe that's around 25 cents uh, if you buy a plan. So you will have to wait a little while if you do not have a subscription, uh, but it usually takes only like 10 or 20 minutes. So I created these two right here and you can see the prompt. Now this one, the Lamborghini, um, I would say this was not a good generation. Like I wanted the Lamborghini to crash into the mansion and you can see this one is just sitting here like stock footage. So I'd say that's not too good. But keep in mind, when it comes to AI video, you can always cherry pick good and bad results. So this is a ASMR video. Um, it looks pretty satisfying and I think it did a pretty good job um, with that. I think it's pretty neck and neck with Kling 2.1 and as you'll probably notice there isn't any audio but I will be solving for that on the automation. We will be passing the result to an audio AI that will add audio to our clips. So now that we have the basics let's move on to N8N. I'm working currently on this automation and it should be working in just a few minutes. So if you don't already know, this is N8N, a no-code automation tool that's extremely easy to use. And this that I came up with right here is going to be available to you for completely free. You can just download the JSON file in the description and then import the file into your N8N and you'll get this all up and running. All you have to do is set up your credentials and I'll show you how to do it. Everything in this video is completely free and everything on my channel is completely free. I'm also going to link below some other resources to N8N videos if you get stuck. Uh, but if you'd like to subscribe, please join my email list, adrian.co, link in the description. If you want to stay ahead in the marketing game when it comes to AI tools, definitely do that. Also, myx, x.com slash mentor. Make sure to give me a follow there. And then if you have Telegram, I have an updates group that will provide a lot of value. But now let me go through my automation really quickly to explain how it works and then I'll go in depth in teaching you how to set it up. So the first thing to know is it's connected to this Google Doc. Very simple, you have a list of prompts on the left and then you can put the status on to do if you wanna make it into a video. And then when it runs, it will give you the URL output and that video will be generated using um, Minimax's Halio 2 technology. And then we're gonna also pass it through an audio generator. And then we're going to put it into right here. So you can see the prompt, um, which is a, just an ASMR prompt right here. And then the result, which I have loaded right here, will look something like this. So you can see the concept. 
I made this as simple as possible so people can easily understand it. You can do a whole lot here. You could, instead of having a trigger to just test workflow, you could schedule it to make a video every hour or something like that. You can also stitch the videos together, publish them, all those other things using N8N. But this is the basic case to just get the videos up and running. So the idea would be you could have a list of like 100 prompts and then you could just run it over and over again to generate all the videos that you want. And we are using this API through FAL right here. We've done this in videos before. It's pretty easy to use and they have a bunch of versions. The one I have it on is Text to Video Pro, which will cost you 48 cents per video. They have another model, which I think is half the price. Um, but I decided to go with the higher end one. You can pretty easily switch it out by just switching tabs on this page and then switching the URL that you use and then everything should be pretty good. Uh, but let me run you through each node and how to set this up if you have imported this. Okay, now I'm gonna run through each node and what you need to do to set it up. I'm gonna do this pretty simple. I'm gonna link another video I have where I go more into depth on N8N if you get stuck anywhere. So the first node we have is the test workflow node. Like I said before, you can replace that. Now we have the get video idea node and all that's doing is you need to connect this to your Google account. It's a little more complicated if you're self-hosted. If you are doing it on their regular website, it's super simple. You're just gonna connect your account and then you're gonna do the operation get rows and then you're going to do sheet one, which is the default. So you're gonna need a document just like this. that has a prompt, status, URL, and make sure the sheet one here. Once that's set up, it will look for the filter on to do. So for each one that you want to run, you have it set as to do as the status. And then you do and only returning first row. So it's only gonna do one video at a time. As you can see here, this is the prompt that it gets. And then that should be good to go. So just make sure that's set up. Now on the second one, we're gonna do this generate video module. Uh, which we're doing through this API. So the documentation is here, and when you make your requests, you can see here, so I'll also be linking this in the description. You can see this is the video that it made uh, for that result, and it's pretty simple. Um, you're gonna want authentication type, generic credential type, header auth, and this is what you're gonna need to make sure that you have, because this is on my account, but when you import it, it won't be on yours. So we're gonna hit edit, and then you're gonna need you can re rename this to FAL. We're doing this all through FAL's website, so you're gonna to need to go to FAL.ai, make an account, load up some credits, and get your API key. Then over here, you're gonna do the name as authorization, and then the value is gonna be key, space, and then your API key. So it's gonna look exactly uh, like this right here. Once you have that set up, you can always just reference this uh, as your header auth and it should be good and you're going to need to do this for all or most of the HTTP request nodes So I recommend saving like that then we're just sending the body and we're sending prompt and then we're Dragging in the prompt here. This should be all good if you set up everything as I did before So that's going to be generating the video then we have this wait node. We're waiting 45 seconds Realistically this takes a while. I've noticed about 10 minutes. So it's going to be a while then we're doing the get video going to make sure that this is connected to your file. Everything else should be set up, but essentially it's getting the status and waiting for completed. And then this if right here, you don't have to change anything. It's just if completed, it moves on. If not, it waits 45 seconds and continues. So this should loop a couple of times before it gets it. Once it does go to completed, we're doing this get URL. We're just dragging in uh, the response URL right here. Should be all set up. You just need to make sure uh, that your header auth is connected to file because this is going through your account so you're going to need your uh, credentials to pull that video so now that we have the video the next thing we're doing is adding audio and we're going to be adding it through this mm audio function which is also going to be on fal so super easy all you have to do is change your header auth to fal and then we're sending the video and the prompt and then very similar to how the video is generated we have a wait this time it's going to take a lot less time to generate uh, but here's our wait, and then we're checking the status. And then if the status is completed, it moves on. If not, it loops. So don't, don't be surprised if these things go four or five times uh, before they actually complete. And then it's simple as that, get video URL. We're just passing in the status. Keep in mind here, yet again, you're gonna need to connect your file account. Uh, so ours is connected right there. Then we get the video URL. 
And then it's as simple as Google Sheets. You just have to connect this to the same sheet. Make sure that it's matching on row number. You scroll down if this one, for some reason, deletes itself. You just drag in the row number right here. And then you want to set the status to done so it doesn't do it next time it loops through the automation. It'll go and move on to the next video. And then the URL is just taken from the last step. And then boom, this is what you get when you generate it. It goes from to do to done, and then it comes up with the URL. The URL should be here. Everything is good to go. Anyways, I just made this, wanted to make this quick video showcasing this new technology. If you, I highly recommend you build this on end to end. It's super valuable to learn this skill. And once you do it, obviously there's so many possibilities when it comes to this model. Like I said, you could use the cheaper one, the more expensive one, automate it, everything like that. Make sure to enter your email on my newsletter, and I'll see you guys later.